So we're out here today, Grand Traverse Bay. Uh, we're fishing lake trout, whitefish, and cisco. Mostly cisco and lake trout is what we've caught today. Um, you know, we got out here this morning, the wind wasn't too bad. We got about an hour in and uh, we tried to make the best of it. We got some fish in the boat, but then the wind picked up. We knew that our uh, opportunity in our window was gonna be short, but we got some fish in the boat and we had some fun. Well, we are hooked up this morning. Uh, we just got out here fishing Grand Traverse Bay. We're casting blade baits going along the drop-offs and uh, we got a fish on. I don't know what it is. Kind of feels like a small lake trout. There it nope, is. It's a Cisco. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Come home. Nice. First fish of the morning here. This is a nice Cisco. This is in the whitefish family. It's pretty much a whitefish. It's just a great eating fish. Oh yeah, here we go. She's feeling it. She's feeling it. Nice Cisco. Really nice Cisco. Ooh. Ooh. Still got him? Yep. Yeah. I pulled back. <laughs> nice. Nice mm -hmm. one, Mags. Second fish of the morning this morning. Just got started not too long ago. Been fishing for about 20, 30 minutes. Uh, this one's a white fish. Just got a Cisco a little bit earlier, so it's a good start to the day so far. Another another whitey? Yep. Another good one, too. Yep, it's a nice Cisco there. Just a nice Cisco here. We're getting into some great quality Cisco's this morning. Uh, yeah, just a beauty, just ripping these blade baits and getting some good action, good bite here. I'm gonna show you guys the rig, kind of what we're doing today. So we're just cruising along the drop-offs and we're fishing anywhere from 30 to about 70 feet of water. I'm just kind of motoring around till I mark some fish and you know, we're just cruising these drop-offs, casting these blade baits up into the shallows and uh, retrieving them back in. So we're just casting out, letting them sink for 10, 15 seconds and we're ripping them back in towards us. So, um, and what we're using for bait here is we have, uh, we have blade baits, you know, Steel Shad, Captain J's. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different good blade baits out there. Um, they all work well. And we're coating them with Potsky Fire Gel. We're using Herring and Anise Fire Gel. And uh, yeah, it's been working awesome for us out here. You think it's a Laker? This fishery starts in October, October, November, December, pretty much any time you see a gap in the window, gap in the weather and you can get out here. You, my favorite month to do it's May. The, the winds and the weather is a little more stable that time of year so you can, you, have, you can really pattern the weather and get out here on some nice days that time of year and it's a lot warmer too. And May's a great month, June can be good and uh, we'll jig lake trout all the way till through July even so. But yeah, that's pretty much all we're doing today. We're fishing these points and we're just moving around until we find fish. The schools are just moving in and out. And yeah, we're just getting at them. Oh, he feels, he feels decent. I don't know how big he is, but he's got some weight to him. Do you feel better than the last one? It's hard to say yet. He's just dogging. Whoa. Nope. <laughs> not yet, boys. Screaming not yet. dog, baby. I'm not coming in yet. Just inhaled that bait on the fire gel. Oh. It's another beautiful lake trout here. We got some good action right off the bat here this morning. We're getting some fish. Just inhaled that blade bait, uh, coated it in herring fire gel and just a beautiful lake trout. Were you just straight retrieving it this time? Yeah, or? just cranking it. They're just been liking it, cranking fast, fast retrieve. Let it sink to the bottom. Oh, we got a drag go this is another nice trout here this is about very common size uh some great fighting fish on light tackle out here just a blast we're just whipping these blade baits out there letting them sink to the bottom and just they like to fast retrieve this morning just cranking them back in so what is it what is it cisco good one they're all good ones there it is Maggie's on, double up, double, double up. Double. 
Oh, that's a bigger one too. Nice Cisco. Ooh, yeah. Oh, he popped off in the net. <laughs> <laughs> Fish. I don't think I need a net for this one. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe he's starting to head shake. Feels like another lake trout. Not a big one, but no, it's a sisker biscuit. Uh oh, it's a sisker biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> These are groceries right here. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, no, no. Oh, come on back, buddy. We promised to keep you. Nice. Oh, son. Were you on the bottom or just reeling oh. in? and we marked some suspended fish out there and just been cruising this reef or this drop off in about I don't know we're in 16 right now we're marking a couple other ones down there too and uh yeah just getting started on this spot so see it feels like a decent fish I don't know I got one I got one no way. hold on a second I got one come on baby come on I got one. <laughs> oh, I got the bottom oh. I think it I think I got the bottom, folks. I <laughs> thought I had a good one. Look at this. Oh, man. It's either a sturgeon or the bottom. We're back on the man that is hooked up. Got it. There we go. This is a cookie cutter sized lake trout here. Uh, we catch a lot of these. We've had some good action on these today, so we're going to get him going back. But yeah, just a fun fight, fun hit, especially on light tackle. So. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Northern Michigan, where we're on Lake Michigan right now, in one of the dozens upon hundreds upon thousands of bays that have lake whitefish and cisco. Now many people go, how do you know the difference? To be honest with you, the first time I came out, I didn't know the difference either. What I've later learned is that both are a member of the trout and steelhood family, and the main distinguishing feature are their snouts. One has one kind of snout, another has another. Now, the Cisco are also called Lake Herring, but the good news is both of them are found in the same area and you can catch them the same way, which is what we did today with Kava Clown of XXL Chrome Chasing. Now, we came out here today with blade baits. It seems to be the popular thing to do. Sometimes we dropped them down 100 feet and we worked them back. Sometimes we only threw them out 20 feet and worked them back. It all depended on where we found these fish on the fish finder. Now, one thing you'll hear from everybody is that Cisco and Whitefish are excellent Tabor fare. They taste amazing, which is why Kyle McClellan was salivating every time he caught one. The first time he caught one, I heard him yelling, biscuit, biscuit, simply because he loves this thing. It's kind of his code word for, you are not gonna throw that fish back. It is going on my grill. Now, sure enough, a lot of people pan fry these. They bread them. They taste amazing. If you've had them in a restaurant, they're phenomenal. That's why we came out here today with Kyle McClellan of XXL Chrome Chasing for an opportunity to load the boat on them because while they might not be the biggest fish, boy, are they aggressive. They're erratic. They have heart-pounding fights. And on light tackle, you couldn't ask for more fun. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order. I don't know. Can you got tell? Some head shakes. Kind of feels like a lake trout. Oh, he came off. Oh. Dang it, man. <laughs> He's got some good action. Oh, and he came off at the boat, man. Oh. <laughs> One less grocery in the bag. Yeah. Little bit not. Take three. Take three. 